So the thing is, I really miss Android ROMs in 23, especially ROMs like Resurrection Remix, Dot OS, Chorus OS, and of course, who can forget AOSP Extended. So in this video, we are going to remember the golden time for Android ROMs, and I will show you some of my favorite ROM that I used to install almost every day. Basically, a nostalgia trip. So let's get started. So this does not mean that Android ROMs doesn't exist today. You can install Android ROMs, but they are not as fun as it was back in time. I'm talking about Android 7 to Android 12. Those were the golden times for Android custom ROMs. You wake up every day, you flash a new ROM. You don't like that ROM, just take an Android backup, flash another ROM. And you are a legend if you remember Titanium backup. The satisfaction you get every time you flash a new room and it boots, only few people can understand. So let's talk about the first room, Resurrection Remix, one of the base room in terms of customization. Unfortunately, this room is also dead currently. I don't think it came after Android 12. Maybe you will find some unofficial versions. So in those times, stock Android was pretty boring. And Resurrection Remix actually gave users all kind of features and customization, plenty of themes. You could just customize anything in your phone using Resurrection Remix. So if you're into custom rooms for last 10 years, then you definitely know this legend room. It was way ahead of its time. As I said, this room is currently dead, but let's hope in the future Resurrection is revived. So another legendary room is AOSP Extended. So back in time, this room was so underrated. Even today, very few people know about AOSP Extended. So not only this room provided all the features that Resurrection Remix provided, it was one of the stable room in those times. Back in time, if some room had plenty of features, that room is not stable. But AOSP Extended was exception in that. I remember using this room back in Android 10 and Android 11 times and it was so stable, especially in Android 10. So it's always about finding a right balance between features and stability and EOSP Extended nailed that. I really miss those time and hopefully EOSP Extended makes a comeback. Now let's talk about Chorus OS. What this room did for gaming community, no other rooms did because this room was number one gaming room. Even for some older phones like Redmi Note 10, this room came with inbuilt gaming kernel and it provided excellent performance back in time for PUBG or Call of Duty, you name it. Basically, Chorus OS was a complete package. You get a gaming performance, features, customization, and stability. And on the top, you get built-in gaming kernel. And obviously I can't take all the room's name, but these are some of the room I really miss. And now let's talk about Sign Engine Mode. So basically it's Lineage OS used to be Sign Engine Mode and most of the rooms are based on Lineage OS. So basically this room is the grandfather of all the custom rooms. Sign Engine Mode was one of the first room that I installed in my phone. I still remember it was HTC M7. And, and those time I installed Cyanogen mode and of course it completely removed the STC Sense and I got stock Android and I was really happy with the battery life and the performance because there was lots of bloatware in STC. Same thing I did for Samsung S5. I replaced the Samsung OS with Cyanogen mode and the performance was just on next level. Currently with Android 13 you get plenty of features in build. But in those times, even if you wanted to change the little things, you couldn't. And those times, Android rooms were fun. And guys, like this video if you remember Cyanogen Mode Theme Engine. It's called CM13 Theme Engine. The kind of theme we used to get is just unbelievable. You could just directly download themes from Play Store and apply those in Cyanogen Mode Theme Engine. So that's it for today guys, it doesn't mean that Android Room reviews won't be coming on this channel. I'm trying some new stuff and I will see you soon.